The word halal is Arabic. It means permissible food in the traditional Islamic law. And for the purposes of what we are making in the Delmarva Life Kitchen today, it means downright delicious. And take a look at that. We even have a smiley face on a pepper. <laughs> this is Chef Dion Alston. He is the owner of Akibachi in Dover. And uh, you are helping us make salmon, salmon cheesesteaks. Cheese yeah. Wow, that sounds interesting. It is interesting. Okay. All right, so where do we, where will we start? Um, you want to start with your vegetables. Uh -huh. you can, uh, we have some onions, uh, fresh uh, broccoli florets, and um, some red bell peppers there. Okay. You can use any peppers that you choose, but red bell peppers give a little sweetness, but also with the savoriness, so it's real good to use. And, and if you're lucky, you find a smiley face. You can find and a so smiley we're, face. With our studio crew is so geeked up about this pepper. Uh, we opened it up and it had a little smiley face on it. So <laughs> a wonderful sign for a Monday. So do you want me to just start cutting this yeah, up? Yeah, you can start cutting it. Um, you can, you're not going to need much beans though, we're only going to need one. Uh -huh. So you can begin to cut and then with the slices you can begin, not so much of a mince, but uh, a nice, because you're going to, got to think of it like a cheesesteak concept. So. so like a rough cut? Yeah, like a rough That's cut. Like a rough cut? Okay. Yeah. And did you come up with this recipe? Actually, I did not. No, I, okay. Um, I've had one in uh, Chester, PA, my first time having one. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of it. My friend was telling me about it, I said, I'm a cheesesteak. So I tried it and I fell in love. Oh, so okay. I had made some for my family. That's actually, this cheese stick is actually how the restaurant started. I uh, made some for my family and I posted it on social media and everybody went crazy for it. I was living in Philadelphia at the time. Mm -hmm. Down here, no one really does salmon cheese sticks. So I, uh, I came down and started making some on the street. It was just a grill and a table and it just went crazy from there. How's that, how's that for my... Uh Onions, a little yeah, that's, more. That's good. That's, that's good? good. Okay. And then the same with the peppers. Same with the pepper. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut up the peppers here. And what kind of cheese are you using on I'm your? I'm using a uh, white American cheese because uh, this is a little easier to melt and also gives a great flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, provolone is also good, but that would take a little longer to melt. And uh, salmon is a delicate fish, so you don't want to risk the chance of burning the fish waiting on the cheese to Wait, melt. Wait, oh, that makes so, sense. I would never you know, think of that. white American was the little best. Then uh, you just want to cut uh, just the stem off just the stem. of the florette. And uh, normally I have a chopper at my uh, restaurant, so we don't. So what we're going to do is um, just cut all those in half. And a little more? Uh, yeah, you could do so. That's good right there. Right you there? could also do the same with the, uh, with the other veggies. Oh, okay. So just kind of come down like this. Yep. Okay. All right. That's, That's going to be water All right. So then you want to uh, oil your pan? We can utilize this. This pan is for, for the vegetables. Yes. Okay. Just how much? Um, that should be great. That right should there. be good. Okay. Yes. And then you can uh, transfer the vegetables over into the pan. All right. So I understand you're you're known for your steaks. Yes. Your, uh, uh, we do a lot of things over rice. Uh, I have a lot of variations of of, of dishes that you can uh, choose from that are uh, that are in high demand, but. Uh, yeah, the salmon cheese sticks is what started it all. So that's pretty much, that's uh, one of the great ones as well as like chicken and shrimp over rice. And we Ooh. have various sauces. It's, it's crazy. Oh, okay. All right, all so right, we've so got wanna, that going. Um, this is a, a McCormick's uh, roasted garlic and herb uh, seasoning. Uh -huh. You can just sprinkle a little bit sprinkle on here. Sprinkle some of that on yeah. there. As well as you can put a little bit more um, canola oil on top just to just to um, get the, the herbs and the, uh, yes. the spices to thoroughly get through the vegetables okay. if you want to put some more uh, canola oil on there. Oh, some more oil? Yeah. Okay. Just kind of drizzle it on. Is that good? Yes. Okay. Then you want to get your uh, spatula and uh, begin to just move those around. Move it around that, a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Pick it up evenly. I love the smell. There it is. That's right. how it all starts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so you want to do the same with, uh, you want to oil your pan. This is going to be for the salmon. For the salmon. Um, and how, what kind of pan do you, I mean, do you want a hot pan? Yeah, you want a relatively hot pan. You don't want it too hot because we said, again, salmon's a delicate fish, but you want it hot enough because you want to get the job done. Uh-huh. You know, so um, maybe like a medium heat, medium high. Medium high, that's yeah, where we have medium it. Medium high is great. Should I open this up? Oh uh, yeah, we can actually cut it open. Oh, to avoid here, I'm gonna let you do I that. You. I got you, <laughs> I got you. I thaw these out. Uh, normally I use frozen, uh -huh. and I just 
cook them on the grill. Uh -huh. But I thawed these out so to make the process a little easier. Make it a little easier. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We're going to go ahead and let that, uh, put that in the pan, let it cook up a little bit, and then we're going to come back and put this sandwich together. All right, Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.